four. Boring. to make some DIY ice cream shoes that are super affordable and really easy and who doesn't love easy DIYs? I also have this new setup over here and if you like it then tell me in the comments below and if, but if you like my old setup better tell me in the comments below because I don't know which one I like better. I think I like this one but I may change my mind. Without further ado, let's go on to the video. I need one pair of flats, beads for sprinkles, cherries, Whipple, a spatula, acrylic paint, masking tape, glue, and paintbrush. Take the masking tape and tape the bottom of the shoe just like how we did. Take your first color of acrylic paints, I chose pink, and you're going to want to paint with the spatula a coat all around the flat and make sure to let it, let it dry, then do another coat until it's fully covered. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take any color you want. I chose white and now you're going to want to just draw squiggles on like how I'm doing here. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Then you're going to want to paint inside those squiggles. And so mine turned and then you're just going to want to wait until you're fully done. Once the white has dried or whatever color you used, you're going to want to take um, whatever next color acrylic paint you want and I chose brown and now you're going to take the paintbrush and you're going to take a lot of paint when I say a lot I mean so much like you don't even believe it so take so much and put it on the top of your shoe and let it drizzle down um, this may sound a little weird just let it drizzle down and it's going to look so cool now you're going to want to take your Whipple and kind of make like a whipped cream shape if you know what it is. So just do what my mom's doing here. And then you're going to want to take a toothpick and you're just going to want to like kind of mush it around a little bit. Just like what my mom's doing right here. The Whipple is still wet. You're going to want to take your cherry and put it on it. The last step is to take your glue and you're just going to want to do dots. Don't do as big as dots as I did, just do some dots and then you're going to want to take your beads and put them on the dots. And you can go wherever you want to do this. Make sure to stay into the brown area where you drizzle it and then you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can see my new videos that are going to be coming up. And also make sure to comment down below if you have any video ideas for me to do next. And I will probably do your video idea. So make sure to comment down below that. And without further ado, let's get on to the end slate. Subscribe!